Let's now move forward to communicate our uh, design intent by creating layouts and have them for printing and uh, plotting. Let's start off by creating a, a new layer. Let's head up to Layer Properties. Select this icon to create a, a new layer. Let's name this as Title Block. In addition, another tip to create a new layer is to simply click the comma key. Okay, so we have created a, a new layer and let's name this as title text. Next, let's change the color of our uh, title text and title block. Selecting this swatch, let's have this to a uh, color orange, index uh, 30. Same also for our title block, index 30, an orange uh, color. Selecting OK. Let's close this uh, layer palette. And I'm going to pan over to the left and uh, create a rectangle. The shortcut key for rectangle is simply typing REC, selecting rectangle. Let's drop our first point here. The dimension of uh, this rectangle is uh, 420. Hitting tab by 297. Hitting enter, the size of this is an A3 uh, paper. Let me uh, reposition this rectangle. I'm going to select this. Hit M, the shortcut for move, and I'm going to move this over here. Next, this needs to be placed in our recently created layer. So I'm going to select this rectangle, head over to our layers uh, drop down and uh, select title block. Hitting escape. Next, I would like to offset uh, this rectangle inward. So I'm going to head up to our uh, modify command uh, panel, selecting offset. The value to be 15, hitting enter. Once more, it needs to be inward. So selecting the object, which is our rectangle. So notice I, as I go over up and uh, down, in this uh, instance, we need to go down to have it inward. Left click and hitting escape. Next, we're going to select uh, this newly created uh, rectangles, creating a uh, window selection. In addition, I want you to take note between the difference of a uh, window selection. This one is in blue. And as I head over to the left, notice it's a uh, dashed line in the color of uh, green. This one is a crossing window selection. So with window selection, we need to have all of our target selection inside the window. Okay, so left click. Next, I'm going to right click, head over to a clipboard, and we are going to select copy with a base point. Let's specify our base point to be uh, this corner. So ignore uh, the stretch of vertex, add vertex, remove vertex, left click here. Next, I'm going to head over to our uh, layout. So the layout is where we are going to drop our uh, title block and uh, create our uh, viewports, okay? So before I paste our uh, rectangles here, I'm going to create a window selection and uh, delete uh, this current uh, viewport. Next, to paste, it's simply hitting Control V and uh, let's insert this at our origin, which is zero comma zero. Hitting Enter. So notice our rectangle is bigger than our current layout. Okay, moving forward, let's get organized. I'm going to head over to our Layout 1 tab, right click, and uh, let's rename this to 
ISO A3 landscape. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to head back to our uh, tab. Right click here and uh, select Page Setup Manager. Okay, so let me move our uh, dialog box here. And notice our current uh, page setup is 8.5 by 11 inches. So we need to create a, a new page uh, to accommodate our A3. So I'm going to select a new. And uh, once more, I'm going to name this as ISO A3 dash landscape dash pdf because we're targeting to have this uh, printed in a pdf selecting ok let's start off by changing uh, the printer uh, plotter name uh, to autocad pdf general documentation and uh, for the paper size we're going to search for iso expand a3 420 by 297 okay so next what to plot it will be the extents and we want this centered to the plot and the units we want this to be one is to one next for the plot style let's change this to monochrome I'm going to leave the defaults for the plot options and make sure this is in landscape. Selecting OK. Next, I'm going to select this newly created page setup. Double left click to activate this, setting this as current, and selecting close. So notice we have the full extent of the rectangle that we have created a while ago. Okay, so let's get organized. Uh, I'm going to delete the layout too. Right click on this and hit delete. Selecting okay. Next, in addition, we can uh, right click once more to our newly created the layout tab and select move or copy. Let's create a, a new copy and uh, let's have this move to end. Selecting OK and let's rename this by right clicking. Let's say ISO A3 dash details. Okay. Let's head back to our ISO A3 uh, landscape. Next, let's head back to model. Head over to our layer properties and let's create a, a new layer. I'm going to call this as a viewport and let's make this current by double clicking. Notice the green check mark and I want you to take note of a plot. So notice this uh, printer icons. I'm going to click on so notice it has now a uh, red uh, no sign this means the viewport rectangle will not be uh, printed okay so once more this is important if you would like any of the layers not to be uh, printed simply select this uh, making uh, it red okay Lastly, let's change uh, the color of our uh, view uh, port to be index color 30 orange. Selecting OK and let's close our layer palette. If ever you have a change of mind, simply head over to your uh, layers uh, drop down and from here you can also change the color of uh, the layer. So I'm changing this to a grayish color notice here let's head back now to our layout next I'm going to head up uh, to our contextual tab layout next let's head over uh, to our uh, viewports 
Selecting uh, this drop down and uh, let's select rectangular. So we are going to create a rectangular uh, viewport. Left click somewhere around here up to here. Okay, so notice by default the grids uh, are shown. To remove this, I'm going to double click on this. And let's head over to our status bar and have the drawing grid off. Okay, so next, let me uh, zoom into our uh, chain plate. So notice it's hard uh, to see our object layer. So with that, I'm going to get out of uh, this current uh, viewport by double clicking outside. Let me get back to our uh, model uh, tab, head over to our uh, layers, and uh, let's change the color of uh, our object layer to, let's say, a pure white, selecting OK. Let's now head back uh, to our layout. And notice it's now looking uh, neatly inside our uh, viewport. So next, let's head up once more to layout, create another uh, viewport by selecting rectangular. Let's create another uh, viewport uh, from this endpoint uh, going up to here. Next, double left click on this uh, viewport and let me zoom in into our table and uh, position this one here. So once more to get out from uh, the current active viewport, simply head out and uh, double left click outside. In addition, I can select uh, this rectangular viewport and we can resize this. Okay, so same with our chain plate top view, resizing this here. And uh, make it a habit to always check. I am noticing uh, our uh, viewport rectangle is in the wrong layer. So selecting this, heading to our layers uh, drop down and selecting a viewport. Hitting escape. Next, uh, before we resolve uh, the issue between our dimensions, I'm going to hover over our uh, viewport. So notice at uh, the custom scale, so it's 0.9. Let's have this to the right uh, scale. So selecting this, I'm going to head over to our status bar and uh, select scale. Selected the uh, viewport. Let's change this to one is to, okay, the correct scale should be one is to one. Next, let's now fix our dimension. I'm going to hit escape uh, to deselect uh, that viewport. Let's now head over to our uh, model workspace, pan over to our uh, chain plate atop view, and let's open up our dimension style manager. So another way is typing in D, and it's here, dim style. We're going to select a training and let's modify this. And it's simple. All we need to do is head over to fit and uh, simply enable annotative. Okay, selecting okay. So notice the annotative uh, symbol, setting this as current and selecting close. Next, next, this dimensions was created before we created or uh, activated annotative uh, scaling. So I'm going to uh, delete uh, this dimensions. Once more, making sure the layer is in the correct layer, which is dimension. And uh, finally, we can now uh, grab our dimensions. Let's say linear, selecting the center point of the circle and this circle and the left click here. 
So notice we are now in the correct dimension size. And if we head back now to our layout, so double left click here. So it seems like a uh, bug in AutoCAD, but the dimension should be uh, appearing here. Okay. And if this bug still exists, uh, we can always head back to our dimension uh, style and uh, create a uh, new style. So let's uh, select training. I'm going to select a new and we're going to copy uh, training. I'm going to type in training uh, two instead. And I'm going to disable annotative, selecting continue. And uh, this time for uh, the text, I'm going to key in the height of our uh, current uh, text, which is here at the below top view is six. So I'm going to type in six and notice the update, selecting okay. Let's have a uh, training two current so selecting a training two and selecting set current selecting close and let's check it's a uh, training two i'm going to uh, delete this create another dimension left click here and left click here place our dimension here hitting escape and let's check once more and now it's uh, updated okay and uh, finally, it's simple uh, to plot this or print this out to PDF. We have uh, options, one from the application uh, menu, selecting uh, print and uh, plot. The other one is simply selecting uh, plot into our quick access toolbar. Selecting this, I'm going to continue to plot to a, a single uh, sheet. That's what our uh, target is. And uh, from here, we can have a preview, okay? So we can now commit to this one and I'm going to save this on my desktop. And uh, here's the sample uh, drawing.